Hi guys, this is Ka from Sporohome.com Madrid. Today I'm showing you a three bedroom apartment on Calle de Porvenir. It's in the district of Salamanca of the city, which is one of the poshest districts of the city. It's the most exclusive, you have the most finest restaurants and bars here, uh, along with the designer boutiques, uh, stately mansions. Um, so you get my point, it's a very luxurious uh, district. Uh, but it's also very well connected. You are close to two metro stations, one of uh, Manuel Becerra, which is on the red line, and another on Calle uh, O'Donnell, which is on the green line. Mm, so let's show you the flat. I'm here in the entrance hall. And from the entrance hall, you can basically just see a part of the house. On the left, you can see the living room and the balcony, and on the right, you see the kitchen. Let's start with the living room. We'll circle around uh, the whole house, basically, from there to here, back to the kitchen. So, let's start. Uh, the living room, you've got, of course, a sofa, um, a TV unit with a lot of shelving. There's also an AC in this house, which is only in the living room right here. You have a dining table and a balcony, which overlooks the building's courtyard right here. This is only the first balcony. Uh, that's right, you have two balconies in this house, pretty open that way. Okay, from the living room, we move on to the second corridor, which leads to all the bathrooms and the bedrooms of the house. So as you can see, behind me is the bathroom. In front of me is the kitchen right there. On the right is uh, the second bathroom. On the left, there are two uh, bedrooms right here. And the first bedroom is right here. So let's show you. Uh, the beds, uh, the bedrooms got a desk, two chairs, a single bed, a side table, also uh, some shelving here, and along with, well, you might want to use it as a bookcase or anything else, and there's a window which looks onto the second balcony right here. The second balcony is shared between all three rooms. I shall take you there. Uh, you also get a wardrobe right here. Okay. Uh, let's move back to the corridor and into the first bathroom, which is adjacent to the bedroom number one. Uh, you've got a bathtub in this. Moving back to the corridor, we move on to bedroom number two, which is right here. Now, this bedroom has a direct access to the balcony, which I'll show you. Some shelving, a desk and a chair, a single bed, and of course, the best part, I guess, of uh, this room, which is the balcony. Uh, it's a pretty private balcony, as you can see. You can see the other windows of the other flats in this building. That's right. And then we move back into the room. It's the same wardrobe that you saw in the first bedroom. Moving on, on to the right, right opposite to the second bedroom is this bathroom. This one's uh, smaller, it's only got a shower, not a bathtub, but of course pretty sufficient. Then from here, 
we go to the second. Uh, this one's the last bedroom actually. Bedroom number three. It's also got a desk, a chair, shelving, a window again. This looks uh, onto the balcony that I showed you earlier. More shelving this side, a single bed, and of course, a wardrobe. This one's got a sliding door. And now we circle back almost. This is like a storage cupboard. So we circle back. That's the main entrance hallway that I showed you. And now we're back in the kitchen. Those are all the rooms and the bathrooms there. So you get the general idea of the house. It's got a washing machine, microwave, dishwasher, oven, all your plates and all your cutlery that you would require, pots and pans, uh, and of course a fridge. Moving on, and here we are back to the entrance hall. So that's it guys, this is Ka from Solhome.com Madrid. See you!